good morning to all uh, this class we will discuss about uh, caching defects uh, these are that uh, important factors to influence of a caching process design process quality of that raw material operation of caching process once you have to start the process before you give more importance of a design to avoid the short bent sharp corners better to give that uh, fillet arrangements of that uh, component then the quality of raw materials so you have to receive that material how to confirm how to ensure that quality of material uh, is uh, decided to give that uh, quality of component to give that defect free component and that operations of uh, casting process so to give the proper training to workers then you have to melt the metal properly you have to transfer the metal from that furnace to that working area then you have to pour the molten metal properly then you have to avoid that unnecessary issue to produce during the process so these are that uh, factors to influence of to get that good quality of a casting component so here to show that the types of casting defects what are the types of casting defects are there? gas porosity uh, sinkage defects mold material so pouring metal defects and metallurgy defects. so one by one you have to discuss uh, blow holes holes produced in the castings when the steam and gases are not come out there is no provisions there is no space to come out so the type of uh, holes to be formed so blow holes to be formed so less number of vent holes so holes provisions are not sufficient so the type of uh, issue is possible excessive moisture more moisture to present the sand so you have to avoid that one you have to give that uh, vent holes should be provided in that uh, uh, both the side hope and uh, drag and uh, moisture content should be controlled so how to follow this one you have to stop unnecessary defects to produce like uh, this uh, blow holes second one scab so unwanted projections in the casting so this is that unwanted uh, projections so reasons uh, behind uh, uneven ramming dropping down part of the mold so ramming should be done properly with the support of rammer uh, then the molten metal should be poured slowly so if you suddenly have to pour the molten metal the molten metal reach the mold cavity then you have to splash so the type of issues the type of unwanted projections uh, to be formed honey home uh, small cavities on the surface uh, so entirely differ from that uh, blow holes so it's a little bit bigger than um, blow holes so honey uh, small cavities so look like that to pit to form on that uh, surface form on the surface improper pouring molten metal and faulty getting so it depends that uh, component shape and size the designs it will be vary so maybe single gate semi sometimes two sometimes three so you have to design properly you have to avoid that one and also molten metal should be poured properly correct gating should be provided so gating should be provided so based on that uh, designs so we have more concentrate on the designs you have to avoid this types of defects so next is swell uh, enlargements of casting surface this is that enlargement surface additionally the surface to be produced of that uh, record uh, component pouring molten metal very quickly mold not support so ramming mold sand is not supported so the type of issue molten metal should be poured properly ramming should be done properly so equally uh, ram in the all that area that i have to avoid these types of issue shift so i have to look at that one this is that uh, shift entirely moving there is a not even so misalignment of uh, casting sections these types of issue form in that uh, pattern pieces open drag box so you have to use that uh, double pin you have to avoid that one then uh, core core is correct place in that core print you have to follow that uh, procedure you have to avoid this types of shift issue so pattern pieces should be aligned properly like uh, uh, double pin i mean use that uh, uh, split pattern so correctly you have to place you have to avoid that one boxes should be placed correctly with the support of dolphin core should be sheeted in that correct place core print so you have to follow that procedures then you have to avoid that uh, this types of uh, defects this types of defects cold shuts so incomplete filling that mold cavity here 
enlargement casting surfaces here the process is not complete that the mold metal molten metals are not uh, reach that uh, mold cavity before uh, their uh, solidification so improper gating pouring the molten metal slowly so proper gating should be provided metal should be proper uh, properly poured i have to maintain that uh, temperature so very low temperature you have to pour the metal have to reach the mold cavity before uh, that is be solidified so the type of uh, factors possible to produce that uh, cold issues types of issues internal air pockets uh, this is that uh, section this is that internal air pockets to be produced of that uh, components pouring the molten metal very quickly is the reason so how to properly have to pour the metal how to fix that uh, optimum uh, conditions how to avoid that one uh, this is that hot tears hot tears internal and external discontinuity is called a hot tears sudden change so already i said you have to follow that uh, uh, design process how to avoid that uh, uh, sudden changes so these types of uh, sudden changes so you have to give fillets no fillets in the corners how to given that proper fillets on the particular design how to avoid that hot tips so sudden change in the section of casting no fillets in the corners uh, possible so you have to solve design should be improved fillets should be provided at that corners you have to follow that procedures you have to solve it fins a uh, thin projections uh, on parting way this is that uh, thin projections misalignment of core so not alignment properly this types of issue core should be correctly placed you have to solve the problem run out leakage of metal from that mold fault to mold is a correct size so this is that mold cavity shape and size suppose if you pour the molten metal the molten metal it will be come out so this reason this types of issues form because that uh, not ramming properly the molding sand is not have that uh, characteristics so this types of uh, issues this types of uh, defects form so molding should be done properly so you have to choose that uh, sand have that uh, right properties uh, adhesiveness uh, cohesiveness permeability uh, so how to follow that uh, rules and procedures how to take that precautions how to avoid this uh, this types of uh, run out and effects next how are casting defects are directed so if any if any surface uh, defects this types of scabs uh, shift uh, uh, run out so this uh, if you if you easily to look out that outer surface uh, have go to that visual inspection with the support of visual inspection is possible to find out that defects suppose uh, sometimes of uh, internal defects occur during the process is not able to see through that uh, visual inspection that time you go to that uh, radiographic test radiography is a one of that uh, ndt test non destructive testing so non destructive testing is a common method for inspecting castings without having to damage so without damage that component have to identify have to evaluate that quality of product so the product under assessment here that uh, casting component the person see evaluate that casting component under that uh, radiography test radiography is one of the ndt method 